Hello guys, I'm going to take a quick look at um, single-handed surveillance and why I feel that you shouldn't do it. Surveillance is a dynamic activity carried out by two, three, four man teams or um, whatever, with motorbikes, vans, vehicles, etc. That's surveillance when you're working as a team. When you're on your own, it's not. You're following somebody, you're doing a Benny Hill. That is not surveillance. Anybody can do that, um, but it has its disadvantages, and I'll tell you why now. Okay, I know a lot of clients will say, but we can only afford one person. A lot of the insurance companies um, that contract some of the major surveillance players, they'll say, go out and do it single-handed. Bad practice. When there's two of you, you're gonna get double the video footage you're also going to uh, minimise compromises and what have you. You'll get a lot more results, better results, working as a team. Single-handed is not cost-effective, okay? And I've been in this industry a long time, and I'll prove it to anybody. So, I know people do it. They're forced to do it. Personally, I've had jobs over, um, in the past by email, by telephone. Can I put somebody under surveillance? Well, I've been to so-and-so, and they'll do it for half the price because they'll use one person. We'll go and do it then. I haven't got time to mess about. So um, I will always do it as a minimum of two, three if I can. Let's have a look. You're on your own. You're going to follow this person like Benny Hill. So they're parked up outside the house. You have got to be somewhere in the area, maybe on the street, parked up, or if they're at a junction watching across, it doesn't really matter. But you have got to have some exposure to the house, to the car, to the front door, or maybe their escape route. And if you can see them, they can also see you. So that's one of the disadvantages of working on your own. Because when they go mobile, you've got to go mobile as well. If it's a quiet housing estate, there may not be any cover. So you've got to be really, really careful that you're not going to be in the mirrors straight away. Where are more people likely to be aware? when they first come out in the open and they first move off. So that's when they're going to be aware and that's one of your biggest risks. We're driving along now. You may have some cover, you may not. And this is one of the disadvantages. Disadvantage of being on your own is you've got to Benny Hill them. So if they turn left, you've got to turn left. If they turn right, you turn right. And after a series of changes in direction, especially with no cover, it won't be long before they notice that green car behind them that's surveillance and they will try to evade you or mess you about or even worse, confront you. So that's a disadvantage. Wherever they go, you have got to go. When they stop, you've got to stop. So your risk of compromise is very, very high. What are you going to do to minimise compromise? You're going to hang back a little bit. You're going to let two or three other cars in between to give you cover, which is a good idea. The only drawback, when you get to a busy junction with traffic lights or a busy roundabout and the subject gets across it and they've gone, you're now held. And imagine this, you've been sat outside their house now for four or five hours. They've got in the car and they've gone mobile and you've lost them within 10 minutes. What are you gonna tell your client? So, being behind the subject all the time risks compromise, but hanging back and having cover risks losing the target. So you're stuck between a rock and a hard place. At least with a team, you can change over and you can hand over at regular intervals. If you do have a loss, we can search two different directions until we pick them up again and we're back down. Okay, so static surveillance on your own, no problem. But if you're doing any following, any mobile stuff, minimum of two, if you can afford it, three cars on a surveillance. Okay? And that's why we don't use single-handed crude surveillance. You've got a lot of other things to think about as well. The target stops. You've got to stop. You might not be able to find anywhere that you can do that. They get out on foot, they know what they're doing. You've now got to get your radio, well, you don't have a radio because you'd be on your own. Your, your camera together, your mobile phone, your wallet, everything has to be with you, park your car up, and off they go. 
What if you need a parking ticket? What if it's a multi-storey car park and they're in and they've paid and got out through the barrier and you're still stuck in the car park behind the barrier? Yeah, it has its difficulties. You've got to do this properly or not at all. I hope that explains it.